good day everyone in the last video we have discussed about the types of tissues and we further discussed about the epithelial tissue what are its types and then we talked about the simple tissue and its types and also other two specialized types which are ciliated and glandular epithelium now we will be continuing from the compound epithelium so as you all know what is a compound epithelium it is generally made up of more than one layer so if something is made up of more than one layer it, it will be obviously gonna thick and it can protect us right so the function of the compound epithelium will be protection okay against the chemical and mechanical stress so it is generally found in skin buccal cavity pharynx inner lining of ducts of salivary gland and also in the pancreatic tract this is about the compound epithelium so now we have discussed about the types of epi uh, epithelial tissue which are simple and also compound now we will talk something called junction these junctions are nothing but they will be between the cells which act as a structural and functional link okay like uh, they will be act as a links between the different epithelial tissue cells so we have three types of junction which is tight adhering and gap you can remember this word tag okay which means T for tight, A for adhering and G for cap. These are the types of junction and what is the function of it? For the tight junction, they will be helping this in the leakage. Okay, it will stop leaking. That is the function of tight junction. And what is this adhering? The word adhering as you know, like to collapse or together. So it will be helping the neighboring cells, that is cementing neighboring cells. It will be helping the neighboring cells to be together. So this gap junction, will be helpful in the communication it will join the cytoplasm of other cells other neighboring cells so which will be helpful in the rapid transfer of ions and transfer of small molecules sometimes it also transfer the big molecules so this is all about the junctions okay now we have completed about the epithelial tissue now we will come and talk about the second type which is the connective tissue the word connective tissue refers to the linking and supporting because of this function they get the name as connective tissue okay so they are the most abundant tissue in the organism the connective tissue is the most abundant organism and they may be either soft they may be either soft and they may be also specialized okay this connective tissue include cartilage bone adipose and also blood okay except blood except blood all the connective tissue will be having fibers which are called collagen or elastin okay this is not present in the blood and they are having the functions as strength they being elasticity and they also show flexibility okay and they have modified polysaccharides in their cell which are act as a grounded substance okay this is the general characteristics of connective tissue then the connective tissue is further divided into three types which are loose connective tissue dense connective tissue and also specialized connective tissue we talk about the loose connective tissue in, within that we have two types which is areolar and adipose in case of areolar tissue they will be present beneath the skin and they act as a framework of epithelium we already know that epithelium is present in skin so it is also present in skin so this act as a framework for epithelium and they have fibroblasts macrophages and also mast cells okay these are the components within the areolar tissue which is placed in the loose connective tissue coming to that then we have adipose tissue which is also present beneath the skin and they fat, store the fats okay adipose tissue will be storing the fats which are left out without absorbing now to talk about the dense connective tissue we have further two types which is dense regular connective tissue dense irregular connective tissue okay in the dense regular connective tissue we will be seeing the collagen fibers arranged in rows okay in case of dense regular this collagen fibers are arranged in rows okay these are further seen in the tendons what is tendons which connect the muscles to the bone okay then another is ligaments which connects the bone to bone okay we can see the dense connective tissue in the tendons and ligaments and to talk about the dense irregular tissue irregular means they are not like arranged well and they also contain fibroblast collagen and present in the skin okay now to talk about the third one which is a specialized connective tissue we have three specialized connective tissue which are cartilage bones and blood so all the three are specialized connective tissue now we will be talking about each of this in detail in the next video thank you